What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of On Fire Fishing Hawaii. I actually got to, I'm so blessed, I got to go with these two guys from Fishing Grills. If you haven't checked out their channel yet, check them out. They're one of my favorite channels. Unbelievable cooking. So on my left, we got here Chev. On my right, we got Caleb, the two masterminds behind this awesome show. But we are going to have almost a taco battle in a way. So we're going to make a collab of making some awesome taco dishes. I'm going to make some spicy paleo taco, some traditional paleo taco. And what did you guys make? Hawaiian style taco poke, all locally picked and harvested ingredients here in Hawaii. All right. Gee. Yes, sir. All right, guys, we're going to meet up with Fish and Grills. We're going to be their special guest today. So <laughs> I'm doing the emergency, the quickest poo-poos I can actually make uh, on the fly. So I just defrosted this maybe like 10 minutes ago. So it's going to, I'm really pressed for time. So what I'm going to do is try to instapot this really quick, seven minutes. So let me just clean this real quick and I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to try to make Palehu taco, real simple Hawaiian style. And maybe one fancy one, we'll see. All right, it was, all I did was cut off the head and then I just split it in half. So it just looks like that. And then I'll just make four little cuts like this, make a square and then you go yank out the beak and then it'll cook nice and even because it has this nice hole on the legs. Everything will be even compared to like leaving it like this. And when you split the head, it'll cook nice and evenly. So let me go throw some Hawaiian salt on this, low me on real quick, and uh, we should be ready for the Instapot. Real quick, go heavy on the salt actually, because I'm not gonna actually put anything else. So just go heavy on the salt, and then you're just going to quick massage it. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a quick rinse, and then throw this in the Instapot. Um, just maybe one beer and we should be good to go. Okay, I just finished rubbing it with salt, give it a quick rinse, and then straight into the pot. We're gonna put it in here. We're gonna add one beer, cover it up, meat and stew, and then just let it go for seven minutes and it should be good. Okay, all right guys, so I'm gonna make, um, instead of, so I'm gonna actually make a really quick play with taco from the Instapot, but I'm gonna make one just plain poo-poo style, maybe a little sesame seed oil or something, but the other one, I'm gonna actually make a spicy tuna style, so it's just gonna be a simple ingredients, almost like three, four ingredients. So your base would just be mayonnaise, maybe about three nice spoonful right there, and then we'll get, one spoonful of this. This is garlic chili oil. It's not hot, but adds a lot of flavor and some texture. And of course, a little sriracha for color. Mm. All right. And then last is tobiko. Add that in. Mix this in. Ooh. That's good. That's good. Put this on a shoe, I'll eat it. <laughs> All right, seven, seven minutes is up. I just saw manual pressure release. Look at the color on this thing. Ooh. Nice, nice and soft. So I'm just gonna ice back it real quick to stop the cooking process. Yeah, one and number two. Get in there. All right, guys, let's grab our stuff and meet the boys at the beach. All right, let's meet up with Fish and Grills. Oh, what's up, guys? Oh, oh, dude. What's up, what's up? Yeah, nice to finally meet you, yeah. You guys go. Oh, I guess. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Alright. Finally made it. I'm with the... Pretty good today. Boom. Shoot the wall. Thanks, bro. The newest edition, F&G shirt. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nice, sir. <laughs> Here we go. We can't make pulehu taco without a fire, so we're getting our grills going. And uh, Heavy Chef is gonna start making and prepping his Hawaiian style poke. It's a true Hawaiian style with all these crazy local ingredients. It's gonna come out awesome. I just know it. Mm. That was nice and hot. Woo. All right. So I'm gonna actually make two kinds of poke. I'm here with the fishing grill guys, so gotta try to step it up. 
but I'm gonna make so seven minutes in the Instant Pot. It's all pre-cooked, pre-prepped. I'm just gonna do it, put some grill marks on it, warm it through. I'm gonna make two types of poke. I'm gonna make a spicy Pulejo ta taco poke, and also a more traditional, just straight up grilled, sliced up Pulejo taco. All right, let this go. Should come out like that, nice and crispy. Oh yeah, yeah. Crispy on the outside, nice soft and juicy on the inside. So let's get this to the cutting board, cut some stuff up. Oh, don't cut me, eh? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Roger. Yeah, time to sample some stuff. Roger, Roger. Mahalo. Mmm. <laughs> That's legit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> We're done grilling, we're done cutting this up. All I'm gonna add is a little bit of sesame seed oil. So this is sesame seed oil, but it's in a different jar. I <laughs> had to bring it to the beach. So sprinkle this over it. Has a little garlic chili oil in there. Little green onion, home from the yard. And then of course, a lye salt, because I'm from Kauai, so they need that red salt. Just a little sprinkle. Damn. Give it a little toss, and it should be good to go. Look at that. Simple, easy, and delicious. Oh yeah. There you go. Yes sir. That's how it's done. So we finished cutting the rest of the taco. Nice bite-sized perfect pieces and we're gonna mix it with the secret sauce. So this is like a, almost like a spicy tuna mix but with taco. So it really gives it that fat it needs and the umami and a lot of flavor. So a little bit of this goes a long way. So you don't want to drown it, you just want to coat it. And it's going to be super good. All right, almost there. One last dip. All right. Here you go. Lick your screen. All right, Chef, come on in. Taste that There you go, buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How's them? You go. Oh, the flavor is perfectly balanced. Taco is soft. Windows. Oh, no, no, no. Cheers. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> no worries. Some party action. Okay, it's the fish and grills guy's turn to. Put out their taco poke. They're making a Hawaiian style taco poke which is all locally sourced and caught and grown and they're using specialty ingredients like opihi, inamona and bye bye ole which is an, a type of seaweed that I've never tried before. It came out amazing. Top it off they added the perfect touch of Hawaiian chili pepper water. So so good. Broke the mouth. Mm. Woo! Wow, that was good. Wow, I had like the, I had the crunch from the ogle. And I got the salt. Super good. The salt from the natural, the natural salt from the ogle is unreal, bro. Winner. On fire fishing up through. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Alright, so what do we have here, Joe? Yo, so this is a spicy Pulejo taco. Okay. So, the reason why I came up with this is because I love spicy tuna. <laughs> but the, I don't always catch tuna. It's <laughs> like few and far between. So, but I catch a lot of tacos. So I said, let's combine the two and came up with this and it's super good. All it is is a little um, sriracha aioli, which is basically mayonnaise and sriracha with a little chili oil and a garlic chili flakes. And I add a little bit of pico just for a little crunch. And it makes an unbelievable either dip or this is a side poke. Well, so, Chef, I tried this. This is unreal. What is this? This is called a Hawaiian style taco poke. So, what makes it Hawaiian style? Because everything is grown and harvested here in Hawaii. All it is is this onions, tomatoes, bavaiole seaweed picked here in Hawaii fresh. We have limakou picked here in Hawaii fresh. Hawaiian salt 
we have cocoa nut and just a little bit of chili pepper water and just mix it all up and all that natural saltiness goes inside all the flavors from all the other different limos <laughs> just comes in together makes one fabulous delicious dish that is good super good actually this is the first time i ever had this i know it looks like gorilla ogo but you look close it's a little bit fuzzy if i'm only i thought that's a moss spongy thing i've never eaten so as you mentioned earlier it's, it, it, it's kind of similar to sea asparagus it does it has like a lot of natural sea salt like you bite into it it's super salty in a good way it's like it? that adds a lot of flavor and texture has that same sponginess that same natural saltiness mm. to it yeah super good Woo! Went up. Come on. Mm. boom <laughs> all right time to feed the family and some friends Oops. <laughs> Five second rule. And right here is the realest, dealest pour you ever get. It's actually Cap Johnson, my boy, my man. He actually, you know, I helped him for years and is the best pour you ever had. So, Hawaiian style, that's um, spicy and then the regular. Um, Style. Yeah, but this is a regular style polo taco. You guys ever had taco before or uh, octopus? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I love octopus. Oh, really? Okay, so why don't you try all three and just tell us which one you like the best. Okay. <laughs> so Honestly, please. opinion. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah
Good. Oh, on fire. fire. We got three it's points. Like this really one right point. Here. No, but you know, ev- fire wins this round. No, no, no. Everybody, what's funny is, no, no. Everybody picked one as their favorite. Okay. So it's kind of a tie. All right. So since my family got to sample some extra, right. that's such a good blessing. But we actually, other people started coming about. You already know me, cephalopods. <laughs> okay, but other people came by and everybody started stopping by and started sampling our unbelievable taco spread, and it was an amazing experience. So thank you to the FNG, the Fish and Grill Gang, for putting on such an awesome experience. And all these other people got to experience such a great local experience. <laughs> All right, that was an unbelievable, super fun episode with fish and grills. So you're probably wondering who's the winner, and the winner is I'm gonna give it to fish and grills. I think I was very close second, if anything. But you know what it is? It's actually I think I was first. But the only reason why I won is is um. How old is like mayonnaise? <laughs> but I've been in a, I've been a firefighter for a long time. I've been a, I've been in a restaurant business for a while. So I understand that spicy tuna is on every menu on every restaurant for a long time for a reason. It's because it's very comfortable and it's very appealing to a lot of people. So if you are like if you're making for your friends and family, this is probably the one to go to. But however, I'm gonna give it to Fish and Grills. They get my vote, my love, and my appreciation. Why? Because they really came with it. They gave me something that I never tried before, and it was unbelievable. And like the other Asian guy said from the California, he's like, "It's probably not for everybody, but if you truly appreciate those flavors, that is where it's at." And thank you for giving me a once in a lifetime experience. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. So remember to like and subscribe, and you can catch all this cool stuff. So until next time, remember to take care of yourself, take care of others, and catch you on the next one. Aloha.